The next trend is called electron affinity. What electron affinity tells you is how likely an atom is to gain another electron. First thing you need to know about is something called stable points. These are atoms that are very stable and they don't want to gain or lose electrons. These are your noble gases. The reason that they're called stable elements or they're stable points is they have eight electrons in their outer energy level. As you've learned from this chapter, those are called valence electrons. They're in the outermost energy level, and when you have eight of them, you're very stable. You don't want to gain or lose. So if we take a look at this, now lithium is a very interesting case, because here you have three electrons. If it was to gain electrons, it would need to gain seven to go up to eight. Seven plus one is eight to make it look like neon, which then would make it stable. But gaining seven electrons doesn't work because you would need to put so much energy into it to hold those electrons, they would just kind of scatter. What's very likely, and what lithium actually does, is it'll lose an electron. So when it loses an electron, what it then becomes is, as you guys know, Li plus one. Because this electron's gone, now this ring is gone, and now you have two electrons here. Well, I just said that you have to be eight to be stable. This is an exception. You can have elements that end up with only two. And that's because the first energy level whoops, only holds two electrons. So you get lithium here. With this one, we have sodium. Sodium can either gain seven also, or it can lose one. If this one loses it, it goes down. And then because it lost one electron, it's a positive one charge. Because now, look at the, t the difference here. We have a positive 11, and now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, oh, there's supposed to be two down here, 9, 10, 10 electrons, we now have a difference of 1. Same thing's true here, plus 3, we only have two negatives, that gives us a plus 1, all right? So that's how the positive ones work. Also note the size of the atom. Look at how much smaller lithium is now once it lost that electron. It's now tiny, so positive ions get smaller. All right, and that's another trend which we'll talk about, but I just wanted to show you since we hit it. All right, the next thing we have is with the same trend, electron affinity. This has seven in its outermost energy level. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. If it gains one, it has eight, so it wants to do that. All right, if it gains eight, take a look at this. Now it has positive nine, which was the original number of protons, now it has 10 electrons around it, so negative 10. Now the charge is negative 1, which you knew fluorine becomes negative 1. This is why. It wants to gain one so it looks like neon. Here's the problem, though. What happens to the size of it? The size then becomes bigger. The reason the size becomes bigger is you have 10 electrons now floating around and only 9 protons to hold them in. It's kind of like if you're babysitting. If you have nine people watching nine kids, it's really easy to make sure that they're in control. As soon as you add that tenth kid, everything's going to go crazy, especially if it's someone, you know, someone that bounces around, bounces off the walls. So he's going to be able to move out a little bit more. So that electron does the same thing, and it actually increases the size. So then your size gets bigger for negative ions. And that's a different trend. But I wanted to show you again because it was in the same part right here. So back to electron affinity. It's very likely that the positives will lose electrons, and it's more likely that these guys will gain them. So if we're talking about them gaining, the likelihood of them gaining increases as you move across because you want to gain one electron here. These guys would want to gain two electrons. These would want to gain three electrons. And then you have that line, the carbons. They can either gain or lose, all right? And then if we're going up, the same thing's true. It's going to increase. The amount of energy required is going to increase as you move up. The reason for that is it's easy for this guy to be lost. It's also a little bit easier for him to be gained. As you get smaller and smaller, you get an increase in the amount of energy required.